Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to export a data tire application from on-premise database and import that database in SQL Azure. Okay, so for this, let us go to SSMS. Now we are connected to SQL Azure instance as well as our local in-premise database instance. So this is the local in-premise database DB for Azure. Okay. So this database we want to export to this particular Azure server, okay? SQL Azure database server. So let us go to task X and let us say export data tire application. Now this will create a backpack file. The backpack file will contain both the structure as well as the data, okay? Of the objects that we export. So let us provide the name for the backpack file. Let us click next finish so the operation is complete so we have exported this database into a backpack file that is a data tire application now in our microsoft azure web portal let us go to storage let us go to the first storage container ok let us go to the second storage container and upload so we have clicked the upload and then we need to specify the path of the file so we let us select the file that we had created let us click upload button so now the upload has completed And we are able to see this particular backpack file as part of the second container inside the storage in Azure. So now let us go to dashboard. Let us go to our server instance, SQL database, server in SQL Azure instance. Let us click the import database. Now from where, where do we want to pick up the backpack file for this import so for this let us go and select our storage account and select the second storage where we have uploaded and let us select the file which we have uploaded so we have selected it So let, let us select the basic type for pricing tire. Now this is the name of the database, right? So with this name, the new database will be created in SQL Azure. So let us provide the username and password. Let us click OK. Database import is in progress. Let us go to SQL databases. There are only two databases. The third one should be created once the import process is complete. And we know the name by which it will be created, right? So now the third database has been created, okay? With the same name that we had seen, okay? Now, if we go in SSMS and refresh, then we should see the third database in SSMS also. Okay, so the third database which has been created in SQL Azure is now visible in SSMS. If we expand the tables and let us verify if data is also come or not. 
okay so let us select from the first table so you can see that the table first data of first table has come and similarly let us verify for the second table also So we can see that the data of second table has also come. So I hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you. Thank you.